Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's still your boy reacting to Chelsea News and update as they drop. So guys, this is a quick video about Axel Assassin. Now there's a rumor that's going on around that a lot of Chelsea fans don't really appreciate Axel Assassin. They don't appreciate his talent. They don't appreciate what he's what he's brought into the team. They don't appreciate a lot of things about him. They even think or consider him as the Maguire of Chelsea. The way Maguire is being treated at Manchester United. That's how some section of Chelsea fans are beginning to imagine the Sassy to be. Remember, we bought this guy from Monaco in the same way we bought Badeshi from Monaco. But unlike this, unlike the Sassy, Badeshi is actually appreciated. As a matter of fact, Badeshi is even thought of by Chelsea fans and even the management as one of the best defenders in the world. But she is highly rated, uh, Fana is highly rated as well. But the Sassi hasn't, the, the Sassi hasn't really um, got a lot, especially for himself to save his name, you know. I know it's a, it's a new league, it's, it's, it's the best league in the world, it's very competitive and blending in isn't, isn't the easiest thing to do. But that's the thing with football, that's the thing with being in top top clubs, that's the thing with being in, 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 in a big club, it's so demanding. If you don't hit the ground running, then sooner than later you're going to start having criticisms, you're going to start having people who abuse you, people who, you know, who, who maul you emotionally and, and physically. And we've, now we've seen so many mistakes from Andrea De Sassi right from the get-go. We saw at Liverpool that he made one very crucial mistake. And Diaz was at the end of that one and he buried that one into the net. We had to fight, you know, and sweat to get the equalizer. He was also the one that got the equalizer. Kudos. And then we also saw at um, West Ham match, he was the guy that did that very, very inexperienced marking on Antonio. That was very poor. Aside from that, we've also seen how he doesn't read the game very well. He's very hard to control. It doesn't seem like Thiago Silva knows how to control him. And it's 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 crazy because Thiago Silva has really flourished in that back line, you know, commanding the young stars that play alongside him. But it feels like with that with um the Sassi, he doesn't follow instruction. So the Sassi has to be very organized, he has to follow in the first, first step of Thiago Silva. If he plays with Thiago Silva, he, he's, he's going to have to try and follow instructions, be very sharp, quick on the mark, knows how to make blocks, knows how to learn from Thiago Silva, knows how to use his strength. He's, he's a big guy, 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, six, use his strength, use his body, use his height, use his area, area ability and all of that. So he's going to have to buy their heart by performing well and helping the team get clean sheets, helping the team stay, stay clear of conceding goals. It won't be easy, but he's in, he's in a top club, he's in a big club. He's been paid huge amount of wages, so it's something that it is definitely worth doing. And he's going to get the support of, of Chelsea fans once he starts keeping out those goals, getting clean sheets and playing at the best of his um, talents.